Hi guys, welcome back to our Lead Talkers Tips and Strategies videos. This time we're going to demonstrate our watch, wait and respond strategy using a feely bag at home. A feely bag can be any bag or pillowcase made up with an array of toys or household items. You can also use puzzle pieces as these often are animal, vehicle or food themed. We like to sing what's in the bag, as you will see, as a way to build anticipation, add rhythm and rhyme and promote eye contact and attention and listening skills. Some additional strategies we use are add a word to what they have and use a variety of words. Use comments instead of questions, use actions and sounds to help children understand and stay engaged. And the final strategy is repeat, repeat, repeat. The first video is of my daughter Nora and I when she was a little younger. Let's see how we get on. So Can I'm down do on the level yeah. face to face. Oh, you want another one? Yeah. And well she's giving me signals that she wants here. more. You want more? More. And she moved Ready, her hand to say she wanted steady, more. Ready, off we go. What's in the bag? I use the same song what's every time so it's predictable and Nora, fun for Nora and she knows when it's her what's turn. What's in the bag? Ready? Put your hand in. Hand in. Ooh. I'm trying to build up anticipation <gasps> and fun. Who did you get? Oh! I leave a pause. Snap! And she crocodile. uses her hands to tell me snap for crocodile. Thank you. You want more? You say more, please. More, she tries please. to copy the words I give her. Ready, steady, off we go. What's in the bag? She's giving me lovely eye contact. What's in the bag? Laura, tell me what's in the the bag. I left a pause well and she finished my sentence. Oh. Making it really fun. Ah. What's it gonna be? Ah. Ah. And I'm just copying oh. her to make it's it a fun. Bird. It's a flamingo. So the important things to remember for younger children are to get down on their level, face to face. This makes it much easier to watch for their interests and watch for those non-verbal and verbal communications. Follow their lead and use a repetitive song to help build anticipation and make the activity more fun. The next video is of Ailey and her nephew Alfie. Alfie is older and has some single words and phrases. Let's see how they get on. What's in the bag? She's down on his level. What's in the bag? Can Alfie tell me what's in the bag? She sings that same song every time to show him when it's his turn. What's that? <gasps> she builds anticipation. A spider! And she left a lovely pause to a allow him to say spider. spider. Ah, wow! <gasps> Got him! She's following his lead. Got him! And she's trying to expand on his play and add Ooh. some words. In the tea. The spider need tea? And lots of repetition of the same words. Oh. Spider tea. Oh, he's in the wheelbarrow. Oh. oh, off he goes. Add a little phrase. It's like, off he goes. Oh, no. Oh. In the tea. In the tea. And you heard Alfie say, spider in the tea. And Ailey add one word. She said, spider on it. in hot, the tea. Hot. Keep her mom. Thank you. So for older children, the key emphasis is to add to the words they already have. Use a variety of words and add small phrases. It is still very important to follow the child's lead and expand on their play and language. They will spend longer with an activity if it is on their terms. The next video is me again with Nora. Nora's a little bit more mobile, so it's difficult to stay face to face. Let's see how we do. Okay, what's in the bag? <gasps> I'm trying to make it oh, seem God, really so interesting. Quick, 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 quick. And she's Ready, keen to play. Steady, off we yeah. go. I left a pause what's and she finished my sentence. What's in the bag? Can Nora tell me she's what's to in sing. the bag? Bag. Okay, put your hand in. Oh. I'm holding on to the bag quite tight. <gasps> it's a house. Show me a house. I 
going to be able to repeat that word again. Let's see. And she's pointing. A house. Yeah. Would you like some more? I offered her more. But actually she's oh, saying she's still it? interested in the puzzle piece. A chimney? I'm leaving long pauses yeah. to allow her to show me what she's chimney. interested in. Yeah, okay. She's trying to copy what I say. Yeah. Windows. Yeah. Windows and... The door. This leads to a lovely one-to-one -one conversation yeah. between us. That's a good place. Let's see that house. Oh wow, house! Yeah. I repeat that word More. again. House. Ready, steady, off we go. Trying to make it lively what's and enjoyable. Bag? What's in the bag? Can Nora tell me what's <laughs> in the <laughs> bag? She tries okay, to sign back. <laughs> This time she's got a horse. Who did you find? Oh, it's a horsey. And I show her the sign for horse. You put and it do the noise. The side of and she's doing it as well. The key strategy I used here was to follow her interest and add words to what she's pointing to. I left pauses to allow Nora to have a go at naming and finish my sentences. I also added actions and animal noises to add to what she was already doing. I hope you enjoyed those videos of watch, wait and respond. Watch, get down on your child's level and follow their lead. Wait, leave those long pauses to allow your child to communicate and show them that it's their turn. Respond. Add words and phrases, use animal noises and actions, and make sure you always respond to non-verbal and verbal communication. An additional strategy is to use commenting instead of questioning. So you might say, I see a bus, instead of where's the bus? The final strategy is repeat, repeat, repeat. Have a go at home and have fun. And if you have any questions or concerns, please contact our advice line and our Facebook page. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel where there will be lots more videos released. Thank you.